Hello and welcome to my meta analysis video for the Ultra Remix Cup. And today we're going to take a look at 15 Pokemons. We've split them up into 5 XL Pokemons that are really useful, 5 non XL Pokemon that are useful, and 5 sleeper picks that are a bit like lower and people don't really expect that are really good in the meta. And we're going to take a look at 5 teams you can build. Most of them have some XL, but I also have one team where you don't need any XL for that. I would appreciate if you leave a like on the video so it gets recommended to other people. It always helps with the algorithm in YouTube. And let's get right into the video. The first Pokemon we're going to take a look on is going to be uh, Galarian Stunfist. Galarian Stunfist is the number one Pokemon on PvP Poke, and you're going to see that a lot as we just had the Go Fest where it was spawning everywhere. We had like several events before where it was spawning everywhere. You need to have it on level 50. A bit lower is also still fine if you don't have the XL yet, but we had like several events where you could get the XLs, and definitely recommend you using that. That's gonna be on nearly every team you're gonna face so you have to either be prepared or have it on your team as well so it's gonna be the first pokemon number two gonna be xl jellicent um, which is really really strong in the meta as well can't worry in galarian stunfisk and having access to like such a good move coverage in general like bait moves and uh, so bulky and there's like only a few dark types in there because like ambience something like that got banned so this thing is gonna be like really really threatening to the meta and you're gonna see them also really a lot. We had that in just in Go first, and if you have one, I definitely highly recommend you getting one or like using them because it's just like so good. Only really has to care about the um, grass types and the black types. Next up, we are gonna have Deoxys Defense, something that was just in raids, and a lot of people most likely have that as XL now as well. You need level 50 again. So, a lot of people gonna run that who are like paid a lot for the game because they have to like do like 50, 60 raids so that to get all the XL candies or even more raids. So, this thing gonna be really threatening as it's like super bulky. It's like basically the same as in Great League, it's like super strong there. And yeah, you're gonna face it most likely also quite a few times because it just wasn't right and people are paying a lot of money for this game. I don't have that, I'm not gonna showcase it because like I'm not paying for one legendary Pokemon to level 50, but it's gonna be like one of the strongest Pokemon and yeah, you definitely need an XL version of that. But like, you can play around if you don't have it. In my opinion, the best Pokemon that is currently available in the meta is gonna be Scrafty actually, because Scrafty is a Pokemon that can counter Ghost, Psychics, and the Steel types. So basically, the Jellison, the uh, G Fisk, and all like the Psychic types in general as well that are in the meta. So this thing is gonna be like a meta breaker. And of course, it is meta, so this thing is gonna be super, super strong. Of course, you have to be careful about like other fighting types and fairy types especially, but. This thing gonna be super strong, especially because you don't really gonna face a lot of charm users, I would guess, when you have G-Fisk as a best Pokemon, like you don't want to really run charm in there. So it's gonna be interesting, but I think Scrafty gonna be the best Pokemon in the meta, but we have to see. For the last XL Pokemon I'm gonna showcase today, it's gonna be Politoed, as Politoed gonna be able to destroy Galarian Stunfisk and a lot of other things. You kind of want to run it with the Blizzard, actually, in my opinion. Like, PE Poke says Earthquake, both are fine options, but um, with Blizzard, you have like courage against stuff like Dragonite and things like you actually can't hit at all, other than that. And I think like it maybe gives you a bit more better coverage, also like against grass types. So, Politoed is definitely one of the best XL Pokemon. For like Sleeper Picks for XL, um, if you have a Meganium XL, which I'm kind of have right now, or like superior, those are also gonna be really awesome. I don't want to cover them right now, but those are gonna be like really, really strong as we have like Galarian Stunfish, which don't really want to face the grass types. We have like Jellicent and we have now like Politoed as well. So this is gonna be also really, really good. The first non-XL Pokemon we're gonna take a look at is gonna be Gir Giratina Origin as the altered form is banned in this cup, but Origin is still available and Origin is a very, very good Pokemon. Peepook says you should run Dragon Pulse. I can disagree, but but you can run Dragon Pulse for like better matchups against Scrafty and things like that. But I think still the bait potential with the Omnius Wind might be a bit better. So I definitely see a lot of play for Giratina Origin here. Very fun to use this thing. And yeah, that's a legendary, so it takes us a lot of starters to get the second move. But at least not Excel, I guess. Machamp gonna be next here on the list, and especially Shadow Machamp is really, very good. Both a version of Machamp are actually a Decent. You can also run the non shadow, and you can also decide to run payback instead of the rock side. Payback is, of course, a legacy move, which we are doing the C day of it. But you have a lot of ghost and psychic types in the meta, so having payback as an option can also be really, really cool. 
But other than that, like, which I'm gonna be good against anywhere, like, you have, like, the Stunfist there, you almost have, like, his gravity there. Like, a lot of stuff that's really weak to my champ, and my champ is nearly good in every meta where it's allowed, so... Definitely highly recommend you using that thing as well. Next up, we're gonna have Snorlax. Again, Shadow Snorlax is a bit better than the normal version, but normal version of Snorlax is also totally fine. And here you have like also the advantage that you can counter all the ghost types that are in the meta. Still having coverage against the Stunfisk with a superpower. And in general, you have like a good generalist here, which has a lot of bulk and has a lot of pressure with like body slam, superpower, and lick in general. Like Snorlax is also always nearly really good. Especially in this meta, as you have a lot of ghost types in the top meta ranks, which always benefits Snorlax anyway. The leg damage just adds up over time, and this thing is so bulky and so good that it's basically always got an ultra leg anyway. And the next pick gonna be Flygon, something that also people might not really expect, but Flygon is really strong, especially the Shadow version, because we have the Dragon Tail buff now, which helps him a lot. And you're yeah, gonna be able to even KO Stunfisk if you bait correctly. It's a bit of a tricky matchup, but in general, like Flygon has a lot of positive matchups and can kill like other Dragon Tails thanks to the Dragon Tail now. And it's very well thanks to Dragon Tail buff and like Dragon Tail buff plus uh, Shadow version of it, like it just chunks like crazy. I really enjoyed fly using Flygon before already, and I think it's even better in this cup. So highly recommend you using it if you have one. Also, the normal version is also fine. So the last Pokemon for the more like common Pokemon that you're gonna face is gonna be Gengar. Gengar has like of course like Gengar, Machamp, Snorlax, stuff like that. You already see basically an Overlick having some play, even when XLs are around because they have like such a good move set. So you have like Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball and Shadow Punch, or Shadow Punch is like a CD move but it's like a really good bait move. And this thing can counter fighting types, can go into, counter other ghost types, it's like a bit more threatening thanks to the Shadow Punch. And yeah, in general like Gengar is always really good in Ultra League. It's of course squishy and sometimes a bit risky, but if you don't encounter like a normal type or a dark type against you, you are always pretty fine. So most of the time like maybe even Gengar in the lead might be really good right now. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the more common version. And now we have like five sleeper picks, which people might not really expect. The first sleeper pick gonna be Genesect, but the Burn Genesect, because then you have like Technoblast Burn. And Technoblast Burn gives you coverage against a lot of cool stuff in the meta. You can just completely hard count the every grass type. You can um, actually destroy the Stunfisk in some matchups if you have like some energy lead, because like Fury Cutter generates energy really fast and Technoblast. Burn is just such a strong move that's like gonna destroy a lot of stuff. And you you usually don't really see Genesect. I think I'm most likely gonna make a video on this thing as well somewhere soon. But yeah, like Genesect general has a lot of potential now thanks to the burn drive. And yeah, this thing is looks like a lot of fun and it's like definitely a sleeper pick. Of course, if you don't have this Stardust or the Pokemon, like, you don't have to get this thing, but it's it looks like a lot of fun to use. The next Pokemon that a lot of people won't really expect gonna be Gliscor. Gliscor, of course, you have to put it, I think, to, like, level 40, close to that. But it's a really good moveset, and you can kind of count there the Stunfisk with the typing, as, like, it can only go for Rock Slide, and Rock Slide is not, like, the strongest move for Stunfisk. There's, like, no way he goes to an Earthquake because it's double resisted, and you still have your own Earthquake that can do a lot of damage to, to something like that and with the wing attack and night slash you have like some quick move that generates energy kind of fast and still does some damage and with night slash you have a good bait move that can actually boost your attack so this thing looks like a lot of fun especially in a really ghost type heavy meta it looks like it can do a lot of stuff so I, I'm looking forward to this thing as well. The next sleeper pick gonna be Myelotic, and Myelotic is like really funny now because you also have Dragon Tail, which got boosted, so it has like a really, really strong quick move already. Like Dragon Tail is like one of the best quick moves in the game right now. You have Surf as a move that you get fast here and has stab and has like good damage output as well. And you have Blizzard as a nuke move. So basically, if you can farm down something and the grass type comes in, you can go for the Blizzard. And other than that, you can counter the um, dragon types like Giratina with that because they get a super effective damage from the dragon tail while you just like don't really have to care about that. You are bulky and I think this thing has like a lot of potential as you can also still counter like stun and things like that. It looks like a lot of fun to be honest like if you have a good rank melodic I would recommend you using that. I also might get one for myself because I think it has a lot of potential anyway thanks to the dragon tail buff now. The second to last Pokemon I kind of want to take a look on is gonna be the Pangoro. As Pangoro has basically a bit worse um, Scrafty, but you don't need like XL or anything for that. And Pangoro has as the same 
good f typing that it can counter ghost types as well as steel types. So you, you basically can like say Sorbet have like Snow Close Camera and Night Slash as a really good coverage moves there and really good strong moves that threaten a lot of shields. This thing looks like a lot of fun right now because you see like the good matchups there Stunfisk, Giratina Origin, Jealous and Drift Blim. That's basically the core meta so this thing gonna be amazing actually I think. I might power up my Great League one for the Ultra League now. Last but not least gonna be Lugia, as Lugia is something you usually don't really see in Open Ultra League because like you have like better options than that. But now with like bans already steal and things like that, Lugia has a lot of play as well. It's still really bulky, you kinda want to have like some trident one with like low attack and good defense and HP. But you also want to have the signature move Aero Blast on that thing. It looks like a lot of fun and like I don't think a lot of people expect that thing. It can counter fighting types like completely. It has a lot of options against a lot of other Pokemon as well. So I think this thing has also a lot of potential. And uh, let's go into the team reviews now. The first team we're gonna take a look at gonna be a Dragonite, Snorlax and g -Fizz. This is a really common team that you also can run in the normal Ultra Premier League, which I also would recommend you running here. Of course you can run the Shadow versions, both are better. I think for Snorlax it's more important to have a Shadow version than for Dragonite. What you could also do is run Giratina Origin in the lead, then you're a bit more weak to Scrafty though. So I think like having the Dragonite in the lead gonna be a bit better. So this team is like a really good normal team that you see like a lot anyway if you play Ultra Premier and like in Rainbow Steel it's gonna be still really strong. It's just a nice coverage. You can bait out fighting types with the Snowlikes. Snowlikes in general has a lot of good matchups and is like such a good safe shop in general. So definitely a team I can recommend you to use. Team number two gonna be Macham, Jettisoned and we're gonna have the Skarmory here in the back. Gonna be also like really interesting team from. You have like Matchamp, which is weak to psychic types and kind of ghost types, and you have like especially for psychic types two two good coverages on the back there. So also like for flying types, it's weak against. We have Skarmory for that, so we basically have good coverage in the back there. Of course, you need like XLs for the other two Pokemon, but they are like kind of available right now in GoFest. I think a lot of people have like the XLs already for those. If it's not something for you, we have like also look a team later on where you don't need any XLs at all. But I kind of wanted, didn't want to put in the G Fisk again. You can use G Fisk instead of the Skarmory, of course, as well. But yeah, I just wanted to avoid it. And yeah, this is also a really nice team. But yeah, like G Fisk is going to be nearly on every team and everything that people suggested to you. So I kind of wanted to avoid it here. So Skarmory has also some play in this league, but I think G Fisk might be even a bit better here in this team as well. Team number three gonna be a team that I played already in Ultra League Premier and it was such amazing team. We have the HA, I played with Shadow Flygon, but you can also use normal Flygon in the lead. We have a Save Swap the Polytoad here, I would recommend here actually Blizzard. I have Earthquake on mine as well, but Blizzard is better because if someone has Dragonite in the back, you're basically screwed when you, they switch it into here, so Blizzard is always a bit better there. And you have the G-Fisk in the back, because actually even though we have two ground types here, they don't really share a weakness of ground types in general there. So they're still a really good core and you can counter like fairy types or the G-Fisk. And Polyton in general, like as a safe swap, has not a lot of switch in. So this team, I, this team was like so amazing when I played it the first time. I'm mostly gonna showcase it again in the Remix Cup, but yeah, this team it was a lot of fun when I played it and I think it's still really good in the new cup now. The second to last team gonna be a full XL team again. We have Nidoqueen, we have Mandibus and we have Scrafty. This is basically something you see like a lot in nearly every league right now. You have like Poison Double Dark as a <laughs> as like a team here. And you have of course the Mandibus as a safe swap, you have the Scrafty in the back and basically what you go is here like you just if you don't have a good lead you go onto the mana bus Bait out the fighting type where you still have some coverage against but they don't want to face the new queen anyway Bait out the fairy type where you still can do some damage and they don't want to face the new queen anyway So then you can just sweep in the end with a power punch of the Scrafty in general. I think this is going to be one of the strongest team you can play actually like what well, like such a good team in general like People were gonna play something like that 100%. And yeah, this thing, this team is just gonna be so strong. It's good, it's strong in Great League as well if you play it like this. So it's basically a Great League team and Ultra League again. But yeah, let's go to the last team, which is gonna be in non XL as well. So the last team gonna be a full Kanto team, as we're gonna have the 
Machamp in the lead, we have the Snorlax, as I say, so but we're gonna have the Gengar as a closer. You can also like switch it up, I think, and just like go for Gengar lead or something like that. But this is just like a box dinner team, like Pokemon that a lot of people are gonna have, and this is still something that's viable. The bad thing about like Ultra uh, Remix is that a lot of Pokemon got banned that are just non XL, so getting a good team without any XL Pokemon gonna be really difficult. Like, you can do it like with like one XL and something like that, but like only like not a single XL Pokemon. You even need like legendary Slyn or like really strong Pokemon like these here. But these are like this is like a really common team from like earlier on. All kind of Pokemon, which is funny. And yeah, this is gonna be it for uh, this video. How do you enjoy like in general like this cup? How do you think how it's gonna be? Do you want to play this cup? Do you rather want to play like open? I actually don't like the concept of this cup. I like the Great League version of it, but not the Ultra League version as we're gonna get like a lot of things banned that it was like available for people and now you have like all this crazy XL Pokemon that like normal people who don't grind for that hard won't be able to compete here in this cup, so I, I don't know. I don't really like it, but yeah. If you enjoyed this video, of course, a like uh, would be really nice. If you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate that as well. But do whatever you want to do and have a great rest of your day. That's all for me and see you in the next video.